G'day folks, it's Justin here with All Things Outdoors. Now, I recently purchased a diesel heater. Now, diesel heaters primarily come in two different configurations. You can either buy one that you permanently install into a caravan or motorhome, or you buy an all-in-one like this, which I purchased. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go over the reasons why I purchased an all-in-one diesel heater versus a permanently fitted one. So here's the first reason, it's probably the most obvious. Can we heat a tent with the diesel heater? Let's check it out. I've just fired it up, I've got it set at 20 degrees Celsius. I've got a um, temperature probe inside there and I can uh, monitor the temperature inside as well as ambient temperature here outside. So I want to see what sort of uh, differential we get between the two. Like it's not an overly cold night tonight, but it might be nice just to preheat the tent before I jump into bed tonight. But um, We'll just uh, give it a go for a while and see how it goes. I might leave it plugged in and see, using the, it comes with a, um, a little remote to see if in the morning, if it's cold enough, I can hit the remote and it'll just automatically start up and start heating the tent for me. So that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so the temperature inside is only just getting up to 18 degrees now, um, which is indicated on the heater and it's taken 17 minutes to do that. Mind you, the probe that I put in there is actually at ground level and as we know, hot air rises so it's probably a lot warmer up, up high inside the tent than it is down low. So it's taken 17 minutes for it to get to 18 degrees right at the bottom. I'm still learning how to use the, the diesel heater. Uh, I found that I've had to turn the temperature right down to about 12 degrees so that it's not too hot inside the tent. I had it up at 18 when I first started it this morning in bed and it got way too warm in there. So probably for this space, about 12 degrees. If I've got it in the caravan, it might uh, be a little bit warmer, but um, all in all, very, very happy being able to lay in bed, hit the remote and um, have instant heat, fantastic. Now here's the second reason why I chose an all-in-one over a permanently fitted diesel heater and it's probably the one I'll use the most over time and it is can we use it to heat a shed or a space like that. Now if you're going to use the diesel heater to heat a building shed like this you're probably going to need a uh, 240 to 12 volt transformer to power the diesel heater because it runs on 12 volts and secondly and probably the most important part of heating a space with a diesel heater is make sure that the exhaust is pointed out of the building and away from the space to be heated so that you don't get carbon monoxide build up. So that's taken us nearly an hour with the temperature set at 22 degrees Celsius to get the shed up to a respectable 19 degrees Celsius. Granted it's only come from 15, it's not an overly cold day today, but um, I'd say the um, internal cubic meterage of this shed would probably be about 120 cubic meters. So, you know, it's a fair size shed, so it's done a respectable job to get the temperature up to 19 in here. It's very nice in here at the moment. So. I'd say that this is going to be really handy during the winter months if I come to work out in the shed. I can just uh, plug it in, set it going and be nice and toasty out here. Right, so let's go ahead and turn it off and let it do its cool down cycle. And the third reason is, even though it's an all-in-one unit, you can still use it to heat the caravan. But first, we need to install some ductwork so we can use the diesel heater in the caravan.
I've just created a duct which drops out of the underside of the caravan which you can plug the diesel heater into. I've also got a 12 volt power supply on that side of the caravan where the diesel heater can get power from. I've also installed a bung so that nothing can crawl up inside when it's not in use. The diesel head if it's snugly underneath the caravan, well out of the way. Right, it's nearly 7.30 at night. It's a brisk 10 degrees Celsius at the moment. I've just hooked up the diesel heater to the, the duct outside and just turned it on and it's set to 22 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to um, see how long it takes to heat up the caravan in here. I've got the temp sensor sitting about midway in the caravan, so it'll be interesting to see how quickly it warms the space up. So I've placed the duct down nice and low in the caravan so the heat can convect up, right up through the height of the caravan. So I can feel a nice bit of warm air coming through there already. So it's going to be really nice, hopefully. According to the temp gauge here, we're up to 20 degrees Celsius in the caravan. And it's taken pretty much exactly on half an hour to do that. So I think that's a pretty good uh, win, um, considering that I can lay here in bed, hit the button from bed, and just let the place warm up while I still lay in bed in the morning. It's really good. So uh, there's nothing left to do now but turn it off. So there you have it, three reasons why you should buy an all-in-one diesel heater over an installed unit. Thanks guys, see you later.